Hello everyone, welcome to Life Coach Lessons. Today I will be giving you tips on living successful and purposeful lives in only three to five minutes. I'm Scott Miller, a certified retirement life coach from Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. Well, welcome to episode number seven of Life Coach Lessons. We're in the month of July and we're talking about some of the most commonly asked questions about retirement and specific to the topic of work. Uh, last episode, we talked about uh, really what work is and we said it's an engagement uh, that brings value to others and meaning to yourself and just really the importance that you need to integrate work into the second half of your life. Today we're going to answer a question of when should I retire? A, a lot of people ask that question all the time. You know, maybe they're in their 50s and 60s and they've been working a, a career that spans maybe 30 or 40 years and they're just asking that question, well, when should I really retire? And so today I just wanna uh, give you some tips. Uh, this is not gonna be a complete list of all the, the things that you should consider, but just a few tips uh, in just a few minutes of what you should consider and how to answer that question. Uh, now this is to a person who is presently still employed, maybe in their careers, and they're just asking that question, okay, when, when should I retire from this? Well, the first thing would be the financial side of it. And as you know, I'm a life coach that deals with the non-financial side of things. I really don't talk about the financial things. So I guess my first piece of advice would, for you would be, if you don't have a good financial advisor, you need to find a good financial advisor. They're gonna really advise you in this area of when you should retire from a financial standpoint. Do I have enough money? Do I have enough wealth built up in my retirement fund? that I can do that. So again, if you don't have a good financial advisor, we have some great financial advisors here at Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. We would love to help you with that and get you connected to one of our advisors. Uh, but find someone who can give you good sound advice financially. Okay, let's now look kind of at the other side of it, the non-financial side of it. And the first thing I would say is more purpose. One of the things that you wanna add maybe to your life in this second half is more purpose. You've been probably doing a career that you chose back when you were maybe between the ages of 18 or 24. Uh, that was your skill set and you chose that career and maybe you've been doing that same career for 20, 30 or 40 years. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I've been doing this for such a long time. It's like really easy. I make great money. You know, so they just kind of stay in this. And so then they, they get to maybe 62 and they say, ah, I think I'll just, I'll wait till I'm 65. And then, then they say, well, now this is, this is going real well. I can go to 67. And before you know it, they're well into their 70s before they maybe stop that career. And they've really maybe missed out on a skill or a passion or a gift that maybe they've realized over the last 30 or 40 years that they really would like to pursue. And so that's a problem of not retiring from that first career is that you don't get to pursue something that maybe you really want to try it. Something that's on your bucket list, a, a gift or a talent that has just been kind of formed over these last 30 or 40 years. And, and, and so that's why it's really important. I, I, I would really say to retire sooner rather than later uh, if you really want to add more purpose to your life. And then the last thing is about flexibility. Uh, what I hear again from people over and over that get into this kind of middle part of your life, they say, I want more flexibility. Like, I want to be able to go do this. I want to be able to go do that and have a, a schedule that's not so demanding. And that career that you're in right now, that's probably five days a week, 40 hours a week or more. You're traveling. There's a lot of stress with it. There's a lot of maybe obligations that you have. You just don't have that flexibility to go and do some of those other things that you would like to do in life. So again, I would just, uh, when you ask this question about when should I retire, think about it sooner than later. If you really wanna add more flexibility and more purpose to your life. Now there's lots of other reasons you know, that you need to take into there. Obviously I didn't cover the financial side about this except getting a good financial advisor. But again, really consider about maybe what's next. And don't be so constant or focused on what am I retiring from but what am I retiring to? 
All right, it's been great being with you today. If you have any questions or comments for me, I would love to connect with you. That's smeller at hzcapital.com. You can reach me, you can email me there. And again, remember to live a more purposeful, meaningful life today.